Please don't kick my grub. Look at that cake. Oh. You go nibble on her. Did you fart again? It does feel a little swollen. Sometimes you just need to speed things up a little bit by grabbing the tail. This is what the Urban Rescue Ranch is all about, you guys. Take a look at that. Terrifying. Good evening, everybody. It's me, old Uncle Farmer Dad Ben, and tonight is one of those nights where it's going down to 18 degree wind chills, and there's little pigs about. I went ahead and shut off the outdoor water lines, and I went ahead and had this to where I drained it, so there's no water in there to freeze. Now you may be thinking, oh, Uncle Ben, isn't that a little overkill? Look at this pig. Maybe. I thought it was a little overkill too, but then I turned this on i realized that this was frozen solid that's actually ice right there take a look at that that is just ice so i went ahead and drained everything uh, i should not have left this on for the freeze either look at that that's ice in there as well and then i'm gonna go ahead and boil some water and try and melt this so it doesn't end up cracking or breaking anything and everybody said oh uncle ben you're dumb for putting a minecraft comforter on your water heater but look looks like this is what happens when we don't this is both unprecedented and terrifying Hey, if it isn't Kevin, covered in freezing rain. Hello, sir. Is that freezing rain on your body? Yes, it is. This is just freezing rain on your feathers. Wow. I also brought Pierce out here. It's his birthday night. <laughs> I promise he's here because he wants to be here. <laughs> Come on, Karen. Okay. Oh, very nice. Oh, well, happy birthday. I need to get Kevin and Karen and Kyle all the way back into the barn immediately. Kevin's going to follow me and try and probably bite me as well on the way. And it looks like Karen is limping for some reason she might have something on her feet but let's get her back in the barn so we can take a look at that we're gonna need to get kyle back in there as well because he's not supposed to get freezing rained on okay yep she's limping for some reason she might just be really cold See, this is very difficult especially when it's done last minute like this we really need to get them to go into that corner and then back into the barn if we can just get these guys into there then we can go ahead and close that gate and if you can't tell, Rhea are really dumb and they won't go back into shelter unless you force them to, even during freezing rain. Okay, now we just need to walk these guys back into the barn and then close it up. That way it's nice and dry for them. There's plenty of food and water and then we can get a really close, detailed look at what's going on with Karen's foot. But once we do get them in the barn, it's going to be a lot easier from there. You also should just go inside, buddy. You have no idea what's going on with her feet. But if you just stay on this side and just stand here, they'll eventually work their way back in just because they don't feel comfortable with us here. Okay, now they're taking a little food break. So maybe we just wait a little bit for them to be done with that. Pour some food out in there. I don't think they're even pecking anything. Yeah, there's nothing in there. How about you guys go back into the barn? Kevin, how's about you go back into the barn, sir? How about you walk back into that barn? Oh, the baby's here now. At least the baby has the decency to know to go back into the barn when it's freezing rainy. Come on, Karen, go back in. Come on, buddy, go on back. Okay, they're finally inside. I have a little the baby here is ready to go back inside as well. Look at this adorable little handsome man. Okay, so before Karen comes back out, we're gonna go ahead and drag the baby back into the barn. Come on, buddy, let's go back into that little barn. How about you guys just go way back into that corner where it's nice and dry, huh? Come on, Karen. And then I'll take a look at that leg of yours. Come on, the baby, come on. All right, sometimes you just need to speed things up a little bit by grabbing the tail. And dragon. This is how they do it in the wild, you guys. <laughs> this is the right way to do it. Here we go. Hop on in there. Okay, now everybody's in here. They're all happy. It's nice and bright. This camera is so much better with low light. And then we just go ahead and close these up. Oh! How about you all thank Pierce and give him a happy birthday wish? How about you all Venmo $200 to Pierce? How about we all Venmo Pierce $200 right now? Okie doke, now all that's left is to get the turkey and the rest of the pigs inside. Come on now, big boy, let's go ahead and get you back. Look at this adorable little man. Wow, this is great footage. Let's go ahead and walk you back on into the barn, buddy. Come on. Looks like Petunia's getting into that nasty little air fryer dish of mine. How's about you guys? Let me have the rest of that, huh? Okay, now I just need to lure these guys over here. What a lovely evening, you guys. Take a look at this. I like how they both just run to the most hard-to-find spots. How's about you go back into that barn, sir? Come on. Come on, buddy. Go on back to that barn. They just really want to explore. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go ahead back into that nice barn. Go make me get out the signature FFA whip. Oh, he just eating this stuff now. Get on into that bar now, son. He wants that water. Yeah, it's heavy. He's heavy. Just him stepping on your foot hurts. Look at that. They're trying to get into that water. Okay, now that they're all back here, this should be a lot easier. Now we just need to go ahead and get them from here. 
back into here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they don't mess with Poppy. Well, it looks like that's already happening. How about you don't mess with Poppy, huh? Get out of here and, and stop messing with my little adorable daughter. Get out of here, go. Be gone. Don't eat Poppy's poop. Don't eat, you don't wanna eat that. That's Poppy's poop. Stop drinking Poppy's water. Okay, that wasn't too hard at all. <laughs> I'm gonna go check and make sure Poppy's okay. There's still a little bit of food for her. Okay, she seems to be doing fine. How are those babies doing, my little adorable baby? How are your little babies doing? Are your babies okay? Was that a little fart? Did you just fart? Did you fart again? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna say this again. This is a random opossum that lives in here. She is wild. She can leave and come and go whenever she wants. Oh, look at those teefers. Look at those big teefers. She's doing a great job of keeping her little baby warm in this little burrow that she made. Go ahead, give her this little bone. She definitely would bite me if I tried to pick her up. Even though we rehabbed her when she was just a little orphan, I'm not gonna go ahead and try and pick her up. In fact, the loving thing to do right now is to even give her a little bit more of this. Oh, that was her growling. A little bit more food in there for my dog. Well, looks like Steiner escaped and is now in our front yard. This is the first time we've ever had any livestock get out of this area. Well, if it isn't Steiner, just walking around. First time we've ever had a pig in the backyard. Look at that cake. <laughs> Come on, son, get back in there. I think this one's Steiner. Nope, looks like it's Mabel. That might work, Pierce. Good thinking. Good thinking, Pierce. That's a smart man. Woo! How about you all go in the comments and say, thank you, Pierce. Here's $200 for your Venmo. No, you don't need any of that propane. Come on. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm going to keep him from going back there and eating Poppy alive. All right, perfect. We can get that open. Woo! We did it. Here it is, you guys. The gang is all here. The baby's chasing the pig around. The all, everything is in here where they're supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Karen's foot. Poppy seems to be nice and warm in this giant pile of hay I put in here. I'm going to go ahead and fill up a thing of water for him. Whoa, Remington's gotten morbidly obese. This is why people typically don't keep these meat turkeys very long. <laughs> Look at this handsome man. <laughs> very handsome and strong. Please don't kick my grub. Okay, let's see what's going on with Karen's foot now. Now that she's in here, she's all nice and dry. She's on some nice soft hay. Let's take a look. Please stop kicking me and biting me and attacking me, sir. How about you let me give you a little kiss on the lips, huh? But this is what it's all about, you guys. Look at all these happy animals living together in relative peace and harmony. We are definitely at max capacity for this barn, though. All right, how about you stop kicking? How about you stop kicking me so I can go ahead and check out and see what's going on with Karen's foot, huh? How about that? Okay, now that Pierce is distracting the baby, I'm gonna get a real close look at her foot, see what's wrong with that. It doesn't seem like there's anything that I can see right now that's going on with that. She seems to be fine. I don't know why she's favoring it though. It does look like it's a little bit swollen compared to the other one. Very strange. Let's see what's going on with this foot. Do you guys see anything in the comments? Let me know. Do you see anything going on here? Do I need to take her to the vet or do you think she's going to be fine? I don't see anything wrong with it. Honestly, as far as this goes, it does feel a little swollen. I'm gonna go ahead and let her sit on it and sleep on it. But she seems to be walking on it just fine right now. Doesn't seem to be favoring it too much. Let her sleep on it and see what the deal is. But this is it, you guys. Take a look at that. <laughs> One last night of being stuck in here in the barn. One last night. Karen still is favoring that foot. We're gonna go ahead and take her to the vet soon, see what's going on. Go ahead and cover up that nasty dookie. I ain't hit rapper and artist a baby. Love you, appreciate you. And we'll see you tomorrow, sir. Hey, it's me, Editing Ben. And Karen's doing a lot better now, but this showed up on the trail cam. What do you guys think this is? Well, 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 good morning, everybody. Looks like Morgan is stuck in this little thing here. Yeah, Morgan can't get out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and let her out. Ducks seem to be doing okay. Their water's frozen, but they can still drink. Chickens are good on food and water. They seem nice and warm with all that hay in there. That's good. Let's take a look at these guys. They all seem to be alive and healthy and well. Okay, Karen's sitting down over there. That's good. It's still raining and cold, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys. Here it is, you guys, the last freeze of the year. Come on, Morgan, you can do it. Yeah, good job, Morgan. You did it. I figured he could get out of there on his own. All right, who wants some food? All right, you guys, if you find yourselves in a similar situation with a bunch of these different animals, pigs, Rhea, dogs, and a kangaroo, and a goose in a barn, never do what I just did. Just icicles everywhere, and it's still coming. Oakley doakley, all the animals are fed, and I'm headed to Austin to see a friend. But look at this. 
Look, there's just little bits of ice and crystals all over these little adorable little blades of grass. It's a winter wonderland here. And the roads are a winter death trap. Look at him. This little man just loves to climb up on top of me. He's basically just a little cat. He likes to just climb up on top of me and then dig his little head into little crevices like this. Then he tries to squeeze through the holes. Well, everybody, I've been spending a lot more time with this adorable little duck and this little adorable little man. Female's still over there, little Plappa. These two have just been kind of hanging out together. They haven't been fighting or anything. Oh, you're about to fall off. Oh, oh be careful. careful. Come on. And this one's warming up to me slowly but surely. Take a look at how adorable these little creatures are. Look at this adorable little queen. I'm glad that I brought this little bean in when I did. She's still a little bit skittish, but she's very, very cute. And I think the more time I spend with her or him, uh, the more she'll get friendly. I suppose this is a first time meeting a duck for the prairie dog and a first time meeting a prairie dog for the duck. But they seem to be getting along pretty well. Take a look at these adorable little babies. And look at the detail with this camera, you guys. This is definitely a big, big upgrade. Huge W for the Urban Rescue Ranch for getting this phone. Without the flash, it looks phenomenal. Look at this, you guys. This is amazing. I'm honestly looking forward to editing this. Yes, I was making waffles and that was my dinner tonight. Look at this little man. Look at him. He's gonna nibble on her. Oh, no, don't nibble on the foot. Don't nibble on the foot. Take a look at this, you guys. Take a look at this. If it isn't these little escape artists. Clean and poggers and the baby all got out. It looks like the pigs are trying to get out, but they can't open it. Hey, Karen is still favoring that leg, but at least she's not on it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this and let the pigs out, but I'm gonna keep the Rhea inside for now because Karen is injured. Oakley Doakley, we got three of the pigs out. I just need to get the other one out. I'm gonna leave Karen and these other guys in here. Okay, come on. I want out. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave Karen and these other guys in here so I can take a look at Karen's leg. I turned the hose back on at the house. <laughs> Just sitting there gulping. They were really thirsty. This right here is what it's all about, you guys. This is what it's all about. This is what the Urban Rescue Ranch is all about, you guys. Take a look at that. Uh hey, you guys, it's me, Uncle Ben. Karen's doing well. Thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. I love you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a little comment for me. <laughs>